To begin, we need to make a long tail cast on. To do this, you need to pull string from your skein of yarn. I like to hold the yarn in my fingers and run it up my arm to my shoulder. Two to three times so I get a real good long tail for the cast on process. Make your slip knot. You can make it just how you do in crocheting. And now we're going to add this slip knot to our needle. Before we add the slip knot to the needle, we want to make sure the right side of the slip knot is on top. Of the needle so it would be the side facing you now tighten the slip knot down just a little bit not so it's too tight now take your index finger and your thumb on your left hand and bring them together so they touch each other put them through the working string and the tail under the needle then separate your index finger and thumb I like to make a finger gun movement so it holds the yarn in the finger spots that I need them to be. So go through the yarn, separate, and grab the strings with your pinky. Now take your right hand needle, touch your thumb, go under the string by your thumb, go up and over, and then under the string on your index finger, pull that loop through your thumb, and then drop your thumb so the loop falls off your thumb. Go back in, grab with your pinky, touch your thumb, go under, up and over, and under, and then through the loop on your thumb. Pull the strings just a little bit so they don't get too tight, but they're not super loose on your needle. Now we'll go through one more time. Touch our thumb, go under, go up and over your index finger, and pull it through the thumb loop. Again, touch your thumb, under, up and over, under, and then through the loop on your thumb. Continue to cast on until you have 20 loops on your needle. For this swatch, I'm only going to use 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This last one I need to take off. I'm only going to slide it to the end very easily and just take it off the needle and unravel the working yarn and the tail yarn. Now I have 10 stitches. Take your needle and now put it in your left hand. We're going to pick up our new needle in our right hand. This clover thimble is great so your tip of your finger doesn't get sore. To knit stitch, go under the loop on your left hand needle. Take the working yarn and the tail yarn and wrap around the needle in your right hand. I hold the string just like I do when I crochet. Just wrap it around your hand, whichever way feels comfortable. Wrap it around the needle. Hold 
hold, pull the two strings through the loop on your left hand needle and slowly pull the loop off your left hand needle. Go under the loop on your left hand needle, wrap around with both strings, pull those strings under the left hand needle loop and pull the loop off the left hand needle. Now we can stop working with the tail string. So just take it and set it aside and only work with your working string. We're gonna knit stitch the entire row. So again, go under the loop, wrap the yarn around, pull it through and pull that loop off your needle. Go under the loop on your left hand needle, wrap the yarn around, pull the loop through, then pull the loop off your left hand needle. Continue to do this for the entire row. When you get to the end of the row, use your thumb to hold the last two stitches in place so they don't slip off your needle. Continue to knit stitch one at a time, slowly. Remove the left hand needle after the last stitch. I don't like how this one looks, so we're gonna pull this loop off just push everything down, slowly pull the working tail. Again, look at the loop. You want the side on the right to be on top facing you when you put it back on your needle. Put it on the left hand needle so we can rework the stitch one more time. So just go under the loop. Wrap your yarn, pull it through, and then off the needle. Now to do the next row, we're gonna put this needle into our left hand and get the empty needle into our right. We're gonna continue to knit stitch. So just go under the loop, get some more yarn. Then wrap the yarn around the needle, pull the loop through, and the loop off the left needle. Go under, wrap your yarn, pull it through, and then off the needle. Continue to knit stitch the entire row until you get to the last two stitches. The last two stitches will have the working yarn and the tail string together in one stitch. We will work them as one stitch. Now we are on our last two stitches. If you can see there is two loops but we're going to use them as if it's one. So go under, wrap your yarn, Pull through, under, and off. Again, go under both loops, wrap your yarn, pull that yarn through the loops, and pull the loops off your needle. Continue to knit every stitch of the row until you get to the end.
continue to knit stitch each row until you get a piece of material that measures about seven inches long. I will meet back up with you and then we will be going over how to do the purl stitch.